Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here, and in this tutorial, we'll take a look at how you can use PayPal's test mode, known as Sandbox, to complete a transaction with a test, credit, or debit card. When you are running your website in PayPal Sandbox mode, you can use a number of the test cards to complete transactions that follow the same process as live transactions. The only difference is no money is actually transacted. I've landed on my WordPress website, where I'll show you how you can use a test card found on the PayPal's website to complete a test transaction. So I'm actually using the WP Express Checkout plugin by Tips and Tricks HQ to show this product here with the simple Express Checkout Buy Now buttons. Although please note you can use any PayPal plugin and still use the test cards that are offered. So before I go ahead and I show you how I can use one of the test credit card numbers supplied by PayPal, to complete a Sandbox transaction on my website, we'll first need to check that I do have Sandbox testing enabled. So in your WordPress dashboard, if you're using a plugin such as the WP Express Checker, under the settings menu is where you'll find your PayPal credentials section and you'll need to make sure that you are running it in Sandbox mode. If you're running your PayPal e-commerce solution in live mode, your Sandbox testing cards will not work. Now that we've ensured that Sandbox mode is enabled for our plugin and we have our Sandbox client ID entered in the field within the settings menu, let's head back to that products page so we can complete a test transaction using either the PayPal debit or credit cards they supply. So if I get the PayPal testing card numbers up, you can see there's a number of different testing cards you can choose from. I'll be using this Visa for one repeater testing card. So I've copied that and then simply I can click on the PayPal buy now button. I can click pay with debit or credit card. I can then paste in that test card number. It recognizes that it is a Visa test card and then our expiry needs to be a month and year in the future. So second 28 will work fine at the moment and the CSC can be three digits and in this case, one, two, three will work out. So you've got four, one repeater, expiry in the future and CSC one, two, three. You'll just need to scroll down and add in the other details. You can just add in some dummy information here, followed by clicking pay now. So I'll go ahead and I'll add in those details, first, last name and the billing address, and then we'll scroll down so we can complete the transaction. Now that I've added in those details, I'll go ahead and I'll click that pay now button. If you've entered in those details correctly, you should be able to complete a successful transaction. Please note that no funds will actually be transacted. It's just a test, although it will appear like the real deal. So you may have an order in your orders menu. As you can see, I'm then redirected to a thank you page where I can see that my transaction has gone through. If I head back to my WordPress dashboard and we do go to the orders menu, you'll be able to see that it has been completed. So that pretty much wraps up this tutorial on just explaining how you can use the PayPal Sandbox testing cards to complete a test transaction on your website, whether that be a WordPress website or another type of website. We completed this testing using that WP Express checkout plugin Although you can use any PayPal e-commerce plugin and it should have the option to do sandbox testing. If you have any further questions or queries, feel free to contact us.